Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a quick little video here of the SCX6 and some upgrades that I did today. The last video that we've seen of the SCX6, it was out on its maiden voyage. <clears throat> and I didn't break anything, it did really well. Uh, but I did get some parts in and I just wanted to give you an update on those parts that I put on. Nothing huge, uh, just some uh, stiffeners and some protection to it. Uh, so we'll just quickly get at it. I don't want this to be a long video. It's probably going to be the shortest video I've uploaded uh, ever, like five, maybe maybe ten minutes. So we added some of the uh, aluminum shock towers and brace. So these I got off Amazon. These are, uh, I can't remember the name of the company. These are RC Lions, the, the front and rear brace here uh, between the two shock towers. Um, RRC line, they're aluminum. <clears throat> the uh, uh, Sher Sherry Goo, I think they're called. Uh, they were 65 bucks Canadian for the full set, front and rear on Amazon. So we did that today. We got the fronts on there. Hopefully you guys are seeing that uh, right in there. So we got her mounted up to the pan hard, which is good because the plastic ones, here's all the plastic ones that we replaced. So where is the Panhard one right here? So it's a, nope, not that one. This one, there's the Panhard mount with the plastic. It's pretty heavy duty plastic, but uh, it is known to be a weak point and same down uh, there somewhere. So I do want to get the, the knuckles for this, which will stiffen up the all of the uh, uh, Panhard and the steering mechanisms because there is a, a weak spot way over there, like in here. Hopefully you guys can see my finger. Right here where it mounts up. This is a sheer point, I guess. Uh, for some people, they've had problems with it. So we've added those. And I'll just get her flipped up a bit. So we added the uh, DJX skid plate here. It just goes over top of the plastic skid. And we added the front uh, diff skids from DJX. All that was from Amazon. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the, the fit and finish of those uh, skids. They're really good. they perfect fit. And I did get some beat up on the diffs um, when I did the first trail run. So I wanted to get something a little bit better for them. So there she's all buttoned up back together. And I just need to put the body back on. But yeah, just a quick video, guys. Just wanted to show you some upgrades that we did. Uh, she did really well on that trail. Uh, no, no broken pieces, uh, rolled over once, but these, these parts were on order, uh, when I did go out a week ago, I guess a week ago, f this is Sunday. So yeah, it was a week ago. It was on Friday and over the last week we have gotten dumps of snow. It's been snowing for five days here. So no snow last Friday and plus 14 to like minus, I think 16 or 18 going tonight. And we got a shit ton of snow. I've been shoveling all week. So yeah, completely different out there. So it'll be a little bit yet before I get her back out again. So yeah, so we've got those skids on. They look really good. So yeah, just a really, really quick video, guys. I just wanted to show you some upgrades. I could have probably done this on a short, but uh, shorts are only like a minute and I wanted to go a little bit further. Uh, still stock servo. Uh, works fine for me. I'm going to keep that stock until it goes. Same with the steering servo. I am going to probably go in and uh, hook up the, uh, the, the control for the ESC and up the voltage going to that servo because I think it's very low from, from videos I've watched. So we're going to hook that up and see if I can put a little bit more voltage to it and see how it handles it. It might burn it out quicker, but we'll just upgrade it to, a, to an 80 or 100 kilo. Uh, servo after that but yeah so that's what we've done just a quick video on the updates I'm going to try and keep it around the five minute mark I think I'm at four minutes now uh, beautiful truck love it I am hooked um, don't know about anybody else that doesn't have one of these that's been thinking about it man just do it this thing's a beast uh, I am looking to get the, the JLU version of this also and, and hoping Axial comes out with uh, with another version maybe a deadbolt or a truck version, uh, something something different than what they have out now. But that's a big platform for them to, to design and get out. But yeah, very happy with it. So thanks, guys. Just wanted to uh, do a quick video and get something up this week. I've been kind of 
busy uh, and haven't had much time to get a video done this week so this is a good opportunity for me to do a short one so i hit 130 or a thousand a thousand thirty three subscribers this week for some reason with just that one scx six video i think i went up six subscribers this week so thanks everyone for subscribing and those new subscribers thanks very much it's much appreciated so give me a thumbs up make sure to hit that bell uh for those that are subscribed so you get info when i get notified when i put up new content and share it out and uh, share the love of the scx 6 and the rc community videos i try to share out as many as i can of those that i follow and uh, i hope that everyone has a great week it's sunday so everyone have a good week and uh, stay safe and we'll see you at the next one cheers